Hello, my name is Dr. Kunimoto. If you've been diagnosed with a macular hole, I'm going to be going over what that is and how we treat it. A macular hole is a hole in the center part of the retina known as a macula. It causes decreased central vision. So when people fixate on objects, it is that vision, which we call the central vision, and that is a vision that's decreased with a macular hole. If you've been diagnosed with a macular hole, you will notice decreased central acuity. What that means is your fixation vision will be decreased. Your peripheral vision will be intact, but your fixation will be decreased. Some people will notice a blind spot. Some people will notice uh, distortion, such as straight lines looking a little wavy. Some people will just know, notice a portion of their central vision being missing. The reason that a macular hole forms, the mechanism by which it forms, is by tangential traction. What I mean by that is there's traction along the plane of the retina. Uh, I'm going to give you an analogy. If you think of a tissue paper, and if you place your fingers all along the edge of that tissue paper and start pulling that tissue paper apart, at some point it's going to rip. In the retina, where the, where the retina rips is in the central part, which is the weakest part, in the macula, hence a macular hole. This macular hole will, will rarely fix itself, heal itself, and so surgery is most often required. The way we do macular hole surgery is to do what's called a vitrectomy. A vitrectomy is a common procedure for a retina surgeon and allows us to do many other types of procedures. In particular with a macular hole, what we do is do a vitrectomy followed by a peeling of what's called the internal limiting membrane. By removing that membrane and by adding a gas bubble, this can often facilitate the closure of a macular hole. Prior to about 1990, we did not have a great solution for patients who had a macular hole. There was no surgical treatment. Since then, our vitreal retinal techniques as well as our equipment have improved to such an extent that we have now more than a 90% hole closure rate. Closing a macular hole, however, does not mean restoring perfect vision. Oftentimes, patients are still left with some distortion or blind spot. However, many patients see an improvement, and most importantly, by, re by closing that macular hole, vision will not get any worse. Macular hole surgery is quite delicate surgery, and in fact, from the patient's standpoint, the hardest part is not the surgery, it's what you have to do following the surgery. It's going to be important to position your head in a face down position. Your surgeon will direct you as to how long, how many hours per day that's going to be required. It will vary from surgeon to surgeon and from macular hole to macular hole. There are also risks with macular hole surgery, as with any surgery. The main risks of incisional surgery in this case are infection, bleeding, glaucoma, uh, retinal detachment. In addition to this, there will be cataract progression if you have not already had cataract surgery. We do not consider this a risk. This is a natural outcome of having surgery in the eye, and the treatment for cataract formation is cataract surgery. So if you have not had cataract surgery and require macular hole surgery, your surgeon will advise you on the need for cataract surgery when the time is, is right. Here at Retinal Consultants, we have extensive experience in this type of surgery. Please do not hesitate to ask us any questions along the way as we understand that this can be a very disconcerting and anxiety-provoking uh, diagnosis.